So hello, this is Sean Manderscheid, and today the purpose of this video is if you own a home or you live at home currently, you should have one place, a cheat sheet, so that everything related to home maintenance, you know with your house and you've got it prepared and pre-planned so that you're not stuck in an emergency or not knowing anything that you need to know when you need it, okay? So we're recommending a, a, a home maintenance cheat sheet, okay? And here's some of the stuff that you would put on it, right? Things like, uh, where your main water shutoff valve is. I, being in this business and talking to a lot of my clients, it's surprising how many people don't have a clue if they were in the case of an emergency and their house started flooding because a pipe burst or something, they don't know how to shut their water off. And that could be because of a hurricane or tornado, or it could be anything. All of a sudden you got a major problem and to stop the house from flooding, you need to shut it off. Where would you go shut the water main valve off? So the location of that you would put on this cheat sheet. So everybody in the household then, would know where it is, where the electric panel location is. You know, so commonly just the man might know and the other people in the family or his spouse may not have a clue. That way, no matter where he's at or if you can get in touch with them, everybody's on the same page with it. An HVAC maintenance schedule. So the HVAC is the, the heater and the AC for your house. Believe it or not, you're actually supposed to maintain your AC, not just wait until something goes wrong. So once a year, once every two years, you're supposed to pour Clorox in the location of the attic so when is it time for you to do that? And you can watch a video on how to do that. That's at least once every year or two. Otherwise your main drain is gonna plug and then you're gonna have a secondary drip over a window typically. And I know this because I've been doing this a long time. I've seen it, but a lot of homeowners don't have a clue what this even means. But usually the secondary drip is over a window so that you can see when that's dripping. That means my main primary drain is plugged and we need to start getting someone now to blow it out and clean it up. So having that maintenance on schedule, their air filter sizes, what size air filters do I need? Having that document in the same cheat sheet that might be on the side of the fridge, for example, you know, uh, any kind of home warranty information, insurance information, who your contact is, who to call in the kit event that some, something breaks. If you have a home warranty and if you bought a house, traditionally a seller will pay for a one year home warranty. So you're covered by the home warranty. You do not call a plumber and electrician uh, directly. If something were to break, electrical, plumbing wise, you actually call the home warranty company. So who is your contact when something breaks that you're supposed to call? A stucco maintenance schedule. If you have stucco in your home, you're supposed to maintain stucco, not refer to wait for a problem. Because when you wait for a problem with stucco, it usually costs tens of thousands of dollars. Where maintenance is simply having someone go check the exterior, look for cracks on the stucco, seal it up, maybe once a year, once every couple of years, at minimum once every two years to seal up any cracks so that water does not get behind the wall. Those are kind of the things you would put on this one page document that you can stick on the side of the fridge and everybody is informed on the things that you need to know about your house. In the event of an emergency or just related to the latest in maintenance and all your filter sizes and everything in one location. This has been super helpful for us and we provide this now to our clients. And if you need an example of one of those pages, reach out and we'll get you one. So I hope that's helpful. and. Uh, let us know if you ever need any questions answered related to your home maintenance. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.